ID cell, the commercial name is AVECMA, is a chimeric antigen receptor T cell. We abbreviate it as a CAR T cell product, and these are genetically engineered lymphocytes from the patient, um, and they are directed towards a specific protein or antigen on the myeloma cells that is called BCMA or B cell maturation antigen. So in brief, ID cell is a CAR T cell product directed against BCMA. KARMA-3 trial was an important clinical study because it compared the efficacy of the current standards of care, so that means drug-based regimens, with CAR-T product called ID cell in patients with relapsed and refractory multiple myeloma. So that study enrolled nearly 400 patients who had received two to four prior lines of treatment and all those patients were triple class exposed. That means they were exposed to a proteasome inhibitor, an immunomodulatory drug, and an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody, which was daratumumab. So those patients were heavily pretreated because in the CARMAT study, patients had received a median of three prior lines of therapy. Around two-thirds of the patients were already triple class refractory. And that study looked at the efficacy of continuous drug-based treatment, and patients could receive one out of five different possible treatments compared to only one single infusion of ID cell. So the primary endpoint, as it is called, of the karma Tree study was to measure is there any difference in progression-free survival or PFS. And then there were also a lot of secondary endpoints, including the overall survival, but also the tolerability. So in other words, potential side effects. The primary endpoint, uh, so the PFS showed a clear and statistically significant benefit in favor of one infusion of ID cell compared to a continuous tr drug-based treatment. And this was um, not only highly statistically significant, but also highly clinically relevant for patients. Coming back to your question on, on adverse events, of course, the um, CAR T cell infusion is associated with specific side effects like cytokine release syndrome, CRS, or um, neurotoxicity called ICANS. But one could say that the risk for getting severe CRS or severe ICANS was extremely low in the ID cell arm. So um, in that study, one of the secondary endpoints was also measurement of health-related quality of life. And that's very important because irrespective of high clinical efficacy, you also want to evaluate how do patients experience this particular type of treatment. And so uh, patient reported outcome measurement is therefore very important. And we did that through standard um, evaluation methods for quality of life measurements. And these are uh, measurements derived from the EORTC. So you have the EORTC QLQC30 module, which measures uh, 15 different domains in that study. We had also a specific module for um, myeloma, which is called the QLQ Myeloma 20 model, which encompasses four domains. And there is also a kind of a health utility index, which is called the EQ5D5L. So we used those instruments to measure the quality of life in both study arms, in the arm with ID cell and the control arm with standard of care treatment. Yeah, quality of life measurement is important when you give CAR-T treatment, but let's say it's important in every type of treatment. But what we do know from the historical data is that with the currently available treatment options for patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma, the best one can achieve 
is a kind of stabilization of quality of life. And um, in this study, it's of particular importance to see if one single infusion of a CAR T cell product compared to a continuous treatment with drugs has an important impact on the quality of life of patients. What we learned in this study is that um, the administration of one single infusion of ID cell was associated with significantly and clinically meaningful improvement in health-related quality of life. For instance, we show that patients who received ID cell had a rapid increase, improvement in their global health status. They had a um, much more reduction in disease-related symptoms like fatigue and pain compared to the control arm. They had improvement in physical functioning and cognitive, so mental functioning, compared to patients in the control arm. And that's so important because uh, many patients tell us that um, the time after the CAR-T infusion, so when they are off treatment, is the best quality time during their whole disease journey. So coming back to what this will bring for the future, I think it shows us the power of uh, CAR-T treatment, not only in terms of clinical efficacy, but also in terms of impact on quality of life for patients. And in addition, it also shows us the value of measurement of patient-reported outcomes by health-related quality of life in all the types of clinical studies we are doing.